nowhere in the Bible does it say Jesus is our Sabbath. And they say, well, uh, well, no, Jesus is our Sabbath. And, I, and I've asked people on fa Facebook, show me book, chapter, and verse where it says that. They won't show it to me because it's not there. The Hebrew Roots Movement will say, well, if Jesus kept the Sabbath, then I've got to keep the Sabbath too. But this passage will blow their minds, right? Look at John chapter 5, verse 15. This is a time where Jesus Christ healed uh, um, somebody on the Sabbath day. The man departed, that's the one they, they, Jesus Christ healed, and told the Jews that it was Jesus which made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. So Jesus did actually heal this guy on the Sabbath day. Did Jesus work on the Sabbath? But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. My father worketh hitherto, and I work. I work. Now, why did he say that? Because of the fact that the Sabbath pictures the fact that Christ does all the work for salvation and we just rest in the finished work of Christ. He does the work, and we rest in his finished work. That's why when Jesus Christ died on the cross, he was dead for three days and three nights. Guess what those three days were? The first day he was dead was the 14th day of the month, Abib, the Passover. Guess what happens on the Passover? You're not supposed to do any work. The second day that Jesus was dead was the 15th day of the month, Abib. Guess what that is? The Feast of Unleavened Bread. And guess what? You're not supposed to do any work on that day either. The third day that Jesus was dead was a Saturday or the regular Sabbath day, the seventh day. And guess what you're not supposed to do on the Sabbath in the Old Testament? You're not supposed to do any work. So the first day that Jesus was dead, you don't do any work. The second day that Jesus is dead, don't do any work. Third day that Jesus is dead, don't do any work. Why? Because Jesus, death, and burial, and resurrection, he did all the work. Amen. You just sit back and rest as Christ saves you. Amen. Christ does it all. We don't work our way to heaven. We trust in and rest on the finished work of Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus said, I'm the Lord of the Sabbath. Right. Now look, if I would have been around in Jesus' day and I started working on the Sabbath, that would be a sin, wouldn't it? Because back in the Old Covenant, they were told, do not work on the Sabbath. So if you were in the Old Covenant and you worked on the Sabbath, wouldn't that be a sin? But why was it not a sin for Jesus to work on the Sabbath? Because Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. And guess what? He doesn't need to picture like, oh, well, I'm supposed to rest in someone else's work. He's the worker. He didn't rest for, you think he was resting in peace for those three days and three nights? No, he was paying for our sins. He was dead for three days and three nights. And he rose again with the keys of hell and of death. And he wasn't relaxing down there, friend. He was doing the work that gets us to heaven. Jesus did the work to get us to heaven. We rest in the work. That's what the Sabbath represents. Resting in the finished work of Christ.